Hello, and welcome to our channel where we explore everything. This is the second video of the Create Your Own Automation App series. We'll be discussing the technical aspect of how to implement this app. If you have not watched the first video, please visit my channel for the video. Understanding the core concept is essential to follow this video. Now, let's discuss the features of the app and the underlying techniques we'll use to implement them. The first and the main feature is, of course, extensibility. This feature is important because we don't really know what this app is going to be used for. And this actually is the main feature of the app. With Oda's own extensibility feature, which allows everyone to develop their own apps, creating an automation app for those apps would be hard without creating extensibility feature for the automation app itself. Fortunately, since we already have experience with extensibility in our previous experiment, the Create Your Own AI Chat Studio series, similar to it, will be using language feature called Dynamic Instantiation and Dynamic Function Call to implement the extensibility feature. With this technique, when we want to create an automation for any new app, we simply create another node representing the process from the new app. Then we can use the new node in the automation app. The second feature is, well, of course, the node-based user interface. I won't go into detail with this feature. Simply put, with node-based user interface, we can clearly see the logic of the automation and relation between nodes. And by using node-based user interface, the extensibility feature is enhanced too. Users can simply drag and drop and connect the nodes. We'll be implementing the node user interface using our previous experiment, Nuido, a node-based user interface for Odoo. Other features are decided by you. Since the app is basically just a framework built on top of Odoo, you can basically do anything that Odoo allows and more. For example, you can even create a node which utilized AI to process data and everything. The limit is only your imagination. That's just about it. Let's jump to the code. This time, let's start with creating a new module to add new node for the app. I believe this will help to see how easy it is to create new nodes and utilize the automation app to suit your needs. As an example, we'll be creating a node which takes sales data from Oda database. As any other Oda module, we first create the manifest file and the basic directory structure. We then create the client side part. Of course, you can decide to create the server side first, whichever you prefer. For now, we'll create the model for the node on the client side first. As shown on your screen, we simply create a simple class which extends the node model class in which we define a variable which stores the range of the sales data we need to query from Oda database based on the current date. Next, we create the node component which extends the node class as shown on your screen. The component is basically an owl component, so we too need to define the template for it. In this case, we inherit the template from the node component template. Let's create another similar node, which also takes data from Oda database, but we query the sales data based on the predetermined range instead of based on current date. As you can see on your screen, the codes are similar. And lastly, for the client side, we need to register the new node component and the model. And we're done on the client side. For the server side, we need to define the corresponding node classes, which inherits the base node class. In these classes, we implement the process method to query Oda data. In this case, both nodes query the data from sales report class using the read group method. Then we define functions, which will be used by the automation app to build and instantiate the nodes. And finally, we register these functions to the automation app registry. And that's it. We've created two new nodes, which we can use to query Oda database. Now, this one is the main reason I created this experiment. With this app, we open the possibility to easily integrate AI into automation. This is just a simple example, but I believe this demonstrate the vast possibilities of what we can do with this app. Stay tuned for more details on how to build your own automation app using Nuido and Odoo. We'll explore more on the automation app on the next video. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with others who might benefit from this tutorial. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on all my experiments and tutorials. We'll see you in the next video.